Hello, my name is Ken McDonald. I've been coaching about 40 years. I've done school sports, outside sports, you name it. I've done soccer, inline hockey, baseball, ice hockey, gymnastics, basketball, volleyball, curling, and on and on and on. I think that's one of the biggest satisfactions you have a coach is when you see it come together, you feel great. It can be a practice, a game, and even in the game situation, you may lose the game, but they did the system right. They did everything right. They just didn't win, and you feel great. I've done that. I've come second in a lot of teams, and we felt great because that's we did our best, and that was it. And he really cares. That's he, he sees the good in everybody, and that's like one of his gifts, and he brings out the best in every player and other coaches as well. He's really fun. He's a real coach in drills. He's always instructing, helping. Uh, he's funny, makes kind of funny comments, changes it up. Uh, he's always looking to improve drills and make them uh, better, a uh, little kind of gamier, engaging. So he's always looking to try and engage kids. And, and he, he's excited, he's excitable, but as mentioned, he knows the skill set to, to, to raise it up a level, to take it down a level. And, uh, and draw the attention of athletes. His organization makes it easier to follow, and easier, I think, for, for athletes to, uh, to pick up on what his messages are, but I think it's his, the, uh, the other factors of his energy and excitement that really gets them engaged and then takes them to another level. One of the best coaches I ever had. Uh, you know, as a person, I loved him. I learned so much from him, just, like I said, like how to bounce back from losing and how to just not take it so seriously and just be the funny, happy-go-lucky guy like Kevin is. But obviously we want to win, but it's about learning and trying our best and ultimately becoming men because that's what high school is all about and she just complimented that really nicely. They feed off you. They can see whether or not you're genuine. I'm always there, the first one at practice. I'm working out. I'm always trying to talk to them, uh, trying to improve certain things that they're trying to do. Uh, correct them because just because you're trying to correct something doesn't mean you're criticizing them. You want them to do better. And I guess it's a genuine feeling I want them to do better because I'll cheer just as loud as they do when they make a, a good play or make that great catch. And so we're, I'm making the catch at the same time they are. 